Affect is a broad term relating to feelings, emotions, and the level of comfort that someone might have in a particular situation. The way a person is affected might relate to areas such as trust, respect, fear, and encouragement. As we'll see in the following interviews, a person's interpretation of peer review is closely related to their comfort level with different situations. In my own learning, I have a great deal of experience from colleagues discussing teaching with each other and giving advice to one another. Uh, these informal discussions are very valuable learning opportunities. I'm quite comfortable in a situation, for example, just last Monday I had a very pleasant and constructive chat with some colleagues uh, about different approaches to assessment. Oh, I have a strong feeling that there's a, a resistance amongst teachers about peer review. I mean, people get scared of peer review. It's a situation where they don't team teach, they teach on their own. So teaching becomes more theirs rather than a, a shared activity. I've attended many seminars for teachers. Um, uh, discussing teaching problems and ideas which have been very valuable for my professional development over the years. However, I do not feel comfortable ha having uh, colleagues observing and evaluating my teaching in class. Right there, face to face. I've been burnt in the past and I do not want to encourage that to happen again. Well, it's a two-way street. I mean, the colleagues have to trust one another for this to work. Uh, most peer review is informal and is just between you know, colleagues having a conversation, colleagues who trust one another. In my department, it usually happens over tea. Or um, between colleagues who are each teaching a section of a large class, you know, very little actual classroom review takes place. So I think people need to be able to practice and work in the knowledge that their colleagues will be professional and respectful of who they are as people and what they do. You can disagree, but it needs to be done in a respectful manner and respectful of the person's position. Because you're not going to be able to have collaboration, share, people sharing, people talking and learning from each other if you don't have that sense of trust. I think the key element for me is trust. When you trust and respect the person that you're talking to and you're getting constructive feedback and you can have a conversation about what works and what doesn't, well then peer review can be very positive and constructive. Well, I think that peer review should be conducted in an environment uh, that is friendly and encouraging rather than um, a, an authoritative and threatening atmosphere. Oh, it should also be conducted in an environment where there's mutual respect between the teacher and the observer. Think about your own situation and the people that you work with. What have been your affective, that is emotional or gut responses, to peer review? How might you organise peer review to promote positive, effective responses and feelings?